In this first video, I wanted to show you how to use the ATEM switcher uh, just to create lower third graphics. Um, our ATEM is a little bit older than yours. It's the 1ME, but everything should still work the same. So I have a Canon plugged into the HDSDI port for camera 6 right now, and my laptop is plugged directly into the switcher control uh, network jack. If you were doing this, you'd probably have your two Mac minis connected to a network switcher and then plugged into the Ethernet jack. Um, and then they would all just communicate uh, over TCP IP. But this is just a simple one. It, it should work here. Uh, you know, work the same. All right, so let's take a look at the ATEM software control panel. Uh, so I can select our, our program feed right now to be camera six. Let me zoom in a little here. And you'll see we have this media tab. Um, right now there's no media, but you can have quite a few stills. You can also import um, other movies to play, you know, in between your clips as you're doing transitions. Um, lots of different things you can do, picture in picture, whatnot. I can pull this media directly off of my um, Mac. What I want to do is do it in Photoshop so you can see how the plugin works. The plugin is installed with Decklink when you install the Decklink software. So I'm going to create a, a new file, um, film and video, and I have the switcher set to 720p out right now. You can see that gives us, uh, you know, 1280 by 720 with some um, margin set. So I'm going to create just a real simple uh, lower third. Alright, and let me just throw some text on there. Okay. So to get this onto the ATEM, I could either save it onto the hard drive if I was on the, the same, you know, which I am on the same laptop. Um, but since you'll be in another PC, what you would want to do is go to File, Export and then select ATEM Switcher Media Pool. Um, you're going to put in whatever IP address you have set when on your network when you have the network switch. Uh, this is the default. And I'll give it a name. And you can select any of those media pools that we talked about. I'm just going to leave it in the first empty slot. And when we export it, we go back to the ATEM software control, we'll see that it's in the still, and it also put us into the first media player, the same lower third. All right, so we go back to switcher. What I can do is go into the first upstream key. I'm going to leave it set to, to Luma. I'm going to set the fill source to that media player, and it's going to default to the media player one key. And that's uh, exported as part of the Photoshop uh, plugin, from what I understand. All right, so to get this to appear on the screen, let's set up our preview shot with camera six. And I'm going to select key one for the next transition. And you can see now that test text is over top of my preview. And when we do our cut, See a nice fade in, and then I can fade back out, and then I can set whatever camera I want to, to switch to next. 